Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Behind the Likes. I'm Winter. And I'm Shy. And today we have our special guest here. If you don't know who she is, you must live under a rock. <laughs> this is Jaden. Hey. Jaden Alexis in the yes. building. It's MILF music. Yeah. What MILF is it? Music. MILF music. It's MILF, Milf music. music. Hey. It's MILF music. Hey. She's an influencer, entertainer, yeah. rapper, mother. Uh, she a bad bitch. She a bad bitch. <laughs> She's here for it all. All the above. Are we She's missing any out. job titles? No, I think that's all my hats. That covers it? Yeah. That covers it all? Okay. How old are you? And a wife. And a wife. And a wife. A fiance. A fiance. How old are you? Uh, I just turned 25. You turned 25? Mm -hmm. Okay, it all goes down. You're up to 25. I'm just yeah. kidding. Yeah, just warning you. No. <laughs> Which, when, when is your birthday? I was like, what's her sign? I October 2nd. I'm a Libra. Oh, yeah. I love Libras. I'm an Aquarius. We're the Miss a Libra. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? One of our friends mm -hmm. is a Libra. We love so we're the same scale. Yeah, I love Libras. Well, obviously, you always have a lot going on in the media. Yeah. <laughs> if you get it right to it. Yeah, let's just get right to it, shall we? How do you, like, feel about that? I feel um, like this happened kind of like, this was kind of like a whirlwind type situation. I think like Yeah, as of lately, for sure, it's been like a whirlwind. But I mean, I've always been dealing with all the hate, so I've been kind of like prepping for mm -hmm. it. So now I'm kind of like, oh, I don't even care. Really? What yeah, because I feel like with my baby daddy, I was always dealing with stuff, like mm -hmm. just even being behind the mm -hmm. scenes, not even really? being gaslitted, you know, whatever. But now I'm just like, I'm used to like the hate. So I'm just like, whatever. Like cool. from fans and stuff. Yeah, or just, yeah, or just even weirdos. Like it's, I don't yeah. even pay it no mind anymore. But even getting all the love now, it's like really, yeah. like it's really humbling too, just yeah. to like have mm -hmm. all that love and support yeah. too, like. I've talked about on the podcast before about how like sometimes people will bandwagon hate somebody because they do it with me all the time. It's yeah. months where people hate me. Or, oh, everybody want to retweet some shit, make a joke, crack a little fucking funny. And then it's other times where everybody on my dick, everybody loves me. Yeah. Oh, she's so funny. Oh, she's mm -hmm. so great. So it's like the internet, it has these waves of like everybody hates you, everybody loves you. And like I've been kind of in this world for like 10 years and it really does come and go like and it's crazy. all the time and it's it's frustrating but it's still it's cool to just watch also like oh wasn't you yeah mm -hmm. wasn't you hating on me like yeah. last week oh, i remember yeah. that i remember your comment yeah it's that, always clock. yeah that <laughs> was like a little way you love me right yeah. <laughs> right now everybody's like dancing to your music exactly. and stuff but people really like that's i was just talking about that on like a couple episodes ago i was saying like how for me personally like it gets to me a little bit when it's other people in the same industry as me, like commenting yeah. on stuff. Cause it's like, maybe this is somebody you thought were cool or like, yeah, you thought they were for funny. sure. And mm. then you come to find out, Oh, they don't even like me and they don't even know me. And you're just like a bandwagon. Bitch, you know? Yeah. Or just judging and you never even met me. Well, yeah. what if you don't, yeah. what if you did exactly. like me? You don't know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, that's really that's really annoying too. Or like, damn, I wish I'd never posted that. me singing to your song. Like, you know, right. they are gonna pull up that like clip. That they pull up that clip. I'm like, oh shit, like, girl, like, right? I <laughs> shit, I'm like, I used to love you. Now you hate me, bitch. That's crazy. Yeah, that is the fucked up part. Nah, for sure. yeah. I mean, we've seen a lot of stuff with you. Obviously, some of it isn't that positive. But yeah. I mean, okay. Just to the nitty gritty, like you've obviously been with your baby daddy for years. We talked about on the podcast. I feel like I, the way my brain works is just very logical. And like when I see people like attacking you online, I'm like, literally, why are you attacking this? Bitch? She's been f with him for like 500 years. <laughs> like, let's just yeah. do our math real quick. Like, why are you even mad at this girl? But you have been dealing with him for so long. And like, obviously, there's been so many like public situations that haven't been the most respectful towards you. Yeah. What do you feel like is something that would be like a deal breaker for you? Sure. At mm -hmm. this point, I mean, <laughs> no, I mean, I don't know. I thought even just the situation that like has been transpiring was the mm -hmm. deal breaker. But I mean, not everything. Yeah. Not okay. everything is so like as meets the eye. Yeah. And mm -hmm. then I feel like I don't know. We kind of we we took a step back from our relationship for a minute. Mm -hmm. And then I don't know how we somehow found our way back. I don't know. I feel like the music kind of helped with that, too. Mm -hmm. So then we found like maybe like this new spark, mm -hmm. which I think helped. Obviously, it's not easy to deal with, and we still, you know, we'll get into it about certain situations. Obviously, mm -hmm. it's not fun to see, like it's, right. it, you know what I mean? But I think that we have found something that, mm -hmm. not necessarily like saying it saved our relationship, because it already yeah. was going downhill as yeah. it was, but I think it helped, and I think that it's definitely something that I'm interested in keeping to pursue. Yeah. You know, obviously. I love your music, I'm not gonna lie. Thank and you. I, I, 
harsh critic, bitch. I really am. <laughs> no, yeah, but it's going you have up. a great voice. So for those who do live under a rock, her yeah. baby daddy is Blueface. He is a rapper that lives in L.A., that's born and raised in L.A., and obviously she's represented right now with the blue one, for one. <laughs> but, <laughs> but yeah, you have to, like I said, for people who don't really even, like, you know, they mm -hmm. might not even know. Mm -hmm. So... That's a so that was a deal breaker to you in your relationship. Yeah, I feel like it was. I mean, yeah, at first that, it was. Yeah, at first. Yeah. It, well, honestly, I had um, even just like I guess quote unquote left him before mm -hmm. that happened. So I don't even know if that was a. I don't even know what the deal breaker was for me to leave. I had left when I was pre early pregnant. I mm -hmm. just was over it, yeah. and then you tried to focus on myself, and then all this stuff kind of transpired, mm -hmm. and then we ended up like I don't even know like rekindling. I guess. Mm -hmm. I mean, time to be a grown up about stuff. Yeah. I mean, shit happens. I mean, obviously, it's not great, but yeah. We're How old trying. are your kids? How old are both of your uh, kids right now? Um, I have a six and a, and a one. And a one year old. Oh wow. Yeah. Your kids so, are so cute. By they the way. are so cute. They so really real mom shit. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> so would it matter if he didn't really, if he didn't take care of his other child right now? Like, do you care? If, like, because the deal breaker to me is a man that doesn't take care of any of his children. Um, I, I mean, I definitely don't want him to be a deadbeat. I wouldn't want him to be a deadbeat to my mm -hmm. kids, you know, but yeah. I, he, that's like a situation I don't have like a say so in it. Yeah. Like, even if I told him to do something, he probably wouldn't listen. Well, I mean, mm -hmm. if you guys are about to get married, then you actually do have a say so. That is like a big thing. Yeah. So it's like, I, he will take my opinion, but sometimes he might think it is like, like, like I'm biased. Yeah. So it's yeah. like if I'm upset about him doing something, then mm -hmm. it's like, oh, you're mad because I'm like, no, maybe you just didn't. Maybe you left some of the truth yeah, out. Like, you exactly. know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, so, I mean, obviously, and as of right now, I don't know if he's claiming it or not. He changes it every day. Yeah. I don't know. But I hope that if, you know, he comes around, if it is, if it's not, whatever, it's up to him. You know? Why don't I just take a DNA test? I think that, you, yeah, I think that this should happen. I, so it still hasn't happened? I, I, as, far, as far as I know now. I think that I saw um, in an interview, I could be wrong, so correct me if I'm wrong, but I think I saw you in an interview say that you will never have your kids around his new baby. No, I don't want my, ki I don't want my kids around her. Oh, okay, mm. okay. I mean, I'm, if that had to happen, obviously I would rather it come this way instead of right. my kids having to go that way. Mm. Why do you feel, you feel that way? Parent? Yeah, why do you feel that um, way? I just feel like I'm more sane. I don't know, like it just seems like a lot of chaos mm. and like no structure mm -hmm. it's just always just so much going on and yeah. and I mean someone that doesn't respect me why would I want my kid like I just feel yeah. like I don't know if my kids would be safe around yeah. that situation yeah. so I just don't feel like that would be and cool. hopefully you guys do like I mean obviously like everything happens so crazy in the public eye and everything like that but I'm somebody I have half siblings so it's like you know, I can't really imagine how my life would be if my mom and like my sister's like never met mom them. Mm. would like never met them or anything. Cause like as me, it's like this is still my sibling, like you know. And it's like y'all, it's kind of like y'all bitches would have to put your beef to the side because this is yeah. still like my relationship. I deserve to have this, like whatever. But I do understand because if I was in that situation, I would. There's just so many emotions. Yeah, obviously. And so many components. But I never, th I guess I never thought about it that way because he has like not all his brothers and sisters are from the same parents, but mm -hmm. me and my sister are. So I guess um, I never really, yeah, you know, yeah. even thought about it that me way. Either. Yeah. So yeah. I don't know. I guess it's you know something to think about. But I, I mean, it's not even like it's like some random person like that mm -hmm. was like like a, a decent human being that like I could maybe <laughs> get yeah, along uh, with. You know what I mean? It's just someone that we already like had yeah. issues and is yeah. like continuing issues. So. A negative history. Yeah, mm -hmm. so I don't know. Yeah. How does co-parenting look in y'all relationship right now? Like is it like, are y'all more, since y'all are together again, is he taking like the role of just to be there consistently as well? Yeah. Or when he's with her or with in general, or wherever he's at when he's not with you working or doing anything else, do you take the majority of that all the time? Uh, so he's really hands on and he's mm -hmm. been like trying to be a re like better all around, like relationship wise and whatever wise, mm -hmm. but he's a really hands on dad, especially with our son. Like he, he, they, they like, it's always just team boy, not yeah. team girl. Me and, yeah. me and my daughter just sitting here like, wow, that's cool though. Like I remember when I, you needed something to eat though, but, <laughs> you but no, but, uh, oh, I tried with him at first, but mm -hmm. it just didn't go well. So. But um, he's a great dad. But when he is out of town or stuff, then I have to be mom and dad. But mm -hmm. lately he's been doing great, especially since moving back into one house. I think mm -hmm. that really helped um, because I feel like when, we, when I had moved out, it was more so like he was getting, like my son would be upset. 
mm-hmm. that he's like leaving or like he's coming for a couple of days and then leaving. Right, he doesn't yeah. understand. Like, yeah, it seems like we used he, to live at yeah. the house and then now we don't. And then now we're back at the house. So it's yeah. kind of like, you know, I'm sure it was confusing for him. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, but definitely getting our co-parenting situation under wraps. Yeah. I just thought about this question. Oh, wait, actually, I just forgot it. <laughs> <laughs> wait. <laughs> I no, just like shot it. Shot. Yeah, yeah. 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 Like shot. Yeah. Wait, why yeah. did I just forget what I was about to ask? It was so well, you about like the kids. Juicy shit to be like, oh, what is it? Hmm. Maybe check my car. Did that change when y'all got engaged? Did that whole dynamic shift when you got? Were you expecting to get engaged? Too? Like, were you? Was that a thing on your list to be like, I want to get engaged after everything else that y'all have gone through, all the bullshit y'all have been through? Um, I mean, I've obviously always dreamed of like mm-hmm. being like, mm-hmm. damn, like after all this, like mm-hmm. I mean, or just even when I, even when I just first met him, or we was together for yeah. some years, I always like wanted to be married. You of know, course. it makes sense. Yeah, mm-hmm. and it, that was my first love. Like yeah. that would just be so too good well, to be true. Too, yeah. Wait, yeah, have you like, really not ever had sex with anybody else? Well, girls. Tell the truth. Girls? Yeah. <laughs> that don't really count. Yeah, like, right. That don't count. That doesn't yeah, count. Yeah, but Wait, no, so yeah. you lick a pussy? Mm-hmm. You lick Girl, I'm licking up a pussy. <laughs> <laughs> I did it one time. I'm just kidding, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> She's not. No. <laughs> No, but um, no. Actually, I was gonna ask a kind of serious question, and the only reason why I asked this question is because I had an on and off like pretty serious relationship. That it was like my first love. I was his first love, and I just went through such like such a toxic situation. And he was like a high profile person, and like I remember what that felt like. I remember that me feeling like this is the only person I'm ever gonna be with. I'm ever gonna love. Blah blah blah. And I remember when he would cheat, or I would catch him doing something, and I. I just, I remember not wanting to let go because I felt like I didn't want to lose. I was like, I don't want to yeah. lose to none of these bitches. I've been here from the beginning. It's like the Beyonce song, Ring the Alarm. I've been doing this too long. I'll be damned if I see another bitch on your arm. Like, but that's really a thing though. But like, eventually I did grow out of it. Eventually I got tired of it. But do you ever feel like part of you has held on because you're like, I'm not about to lose to no bitch. Like, I know that I got this nigga. He's been my first love I'm his like there's no way somebody's stepping in I feel like there was a time where it was publicly like someone did step in so Mm. maybe in some eyes I did lose for a quick second and now that I'm back up then it's that way Mm -hmm. I don't I don't know if I'm holding on for that sake I feel like I'm holding on more for like the family sake okay Mm -hmm. because it's like I would just like fall out if I like had to let the kids know it was just not gonna happen. Right. Like if I just know I didn't try everything that right. I just possibly could for that. You know what I mean? Right. And it just had to be like the other way because I couldn't yeah. imagine just giving up because I was like tired. But I am I am tired. Don't get me wrong. I am tired of it. But I think that's more so what I'm holding on to because I feel like I have taken some losses publicly. Like you mm-hmm. know, it's not always rainbows and unicorns and shit all yeah. over here and shit. But I think I'm more so like driven for that family shit. Yeah, I mean, I guess if I had, like, kids involved in the situation, of course, I'm going to try everything I can possibly try, Mm -hmm. too. Like, that just does make the most sense. But now you are technically engaged. So do you feel like this technically is, I mean, just for my opinion, this is you trying your hardest, and this is you getting to a point where it really is, like, this is either a turning point or a breaking point. Mm -hmm. So do you feel like if boundaries continue to be crossed during your engagement, yeah. Is that like, I now I've tried everything. Now we've gotten to the final step. And, and Yeah, for sure, because I feel like he he publicly, like, made it that way. Like, mm-hmm. I wasn't, wasn't like I was, like, hounding him to, like, make it that way. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then you made it so public. So I'm, like, hoping that you just try harder to do better. Yeah. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Because then it's, like, headlines is, like, cheating on your fiancé. Yeah, like, oh, even, God, yeah, like, that's like, even yeah. worse. Mm-hmm. Like, no, that is worse. And yeah, it's like, it's, like, and then it's, it's like... like you, once you get married, yeah. bitch, like, damn. Mm-hmm. Like, it's harder to divorce after, it's hard for divorce after that. Yeah, and it just looks, it just mm-hmm. sounds worse. Sounds like, <laughs> yeah. On top of everything you went through, bitch, you don't want to go through a divorce. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, exactly. Yeah. Now all the paperwork. Like, ever. Back. Like, Would you sign a prenup? I'm not. <laughs> Period. Period. Take all the money. I've been with this man since high school or middle school. I'm gonna get my cut. High school. High school. Yeah, I've been with this man since high school. I'm 25 years old now. What you talking about? So how were you in high school? Just Probably random. like really quiet. Right. Really, really? Quiet. I yeah. can see that. Yeah, I can see, I can that. see that. I feel like I'm that now, even like when I f- like first get into yeah. situations, I have to kind of like loosen up. Like, where's the liquor? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, oh, same. Same. Yeah, same. That's me. Yeah, I feel like, but I think definitely I was back then. I didn't even have that many friends even. Mm-hmm. I just only had my couple friends. And I feel like I'm the same way now. Like still my couple friends that I call on. I don't have like a huge mm-hmm. 
group of people that I can like that's call why you kind of gravitated to him huh? because when you really like somebody as a Libra when you like yeah. somebody and the scale is tilted it's like oh it's in your favor yeah so I just I, yeah. I was quiet then and I feel like I'm kind of shy still now mm-hmm. yeah I mean but you've come out your shell a lot oh though. for you sure really, like made so much progress mm-hmm. yeah yeah I feel like I'm an introverted extrovert she's the is that the word extrovert mm-hmm. she's an extrovert. extrovert I'm the introverted extrovert like I'm not really that social of a person yeah me too but when I know people they think oh she's so crazy she's so funny she's such a good time but when people first meet me they're like oh I was not expecting this but she <laughs> is like gets all the friends everybody loves her off I, the really, I feel like that's her. I feel like that's us yeah, like, <laughs> she'll be like be nice to them I'm like yeah, why I'm like, I'm <laughs> why I like, see you <laughs> out one time I seen you out I think it was with Blueface one time and you looked mean as hell I was like oh you probably don't piss me off. Look, I'm look, over here like, like I know how to be in a relationship. You be like, you're gonna piss me off. I don't wanna say, I don't touch nobody right now. Yeah, just be like, I don't, I don't trust nobody. So that's how you feel like when you are out with him. Sometimes you feel like you have to keep an eye on everybody that's around you. Yeah, for just to sure. Your space. Yeah, and it's like you never know who you're really talking to because people will just like smile mm-hmm. in your face and act like yeah, they shaking. wasn't in DMs and all kinds. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, and yeah. that's what irritates me. Though I feel like that because it's like I'll try. It's like that's why I stop. That's why I don't be nice. Like mm-hmm. yeah. it'd be those times I'd be nice to somebody and then come back to find she out blame, like, oh yeah. hell, I should have mm-hmm. slapped you. Like what yeah. the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> like actually, like, yeah, I be trash. Yeah, bitch. like what the. <laughs> Now, now I want to like link up again. Like, yeah, yeah get that one girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, how is it when, like, after when you are surrounded by so much negativity, when you go in the public light, or when you wake up and you see random shit all the time about your face, about your body, about this and that? How, what, how does that make you feel, and how do you? find peace because I go through the same thing Mm -hmm. so you know I definitely have moments where I'm like oh my god like it's so frustrating Mm because like um like I don't think I'm that bad like I am like you three like y'all really think it's like they're ugly you're not (laughs) and you're not at all you know so there's just days where you just be like god damn like y'all really hate on a but yeah. like, it's, it's just like, it's reading the comments that really mm-hmm. get your ass. Like, yeah. and like, I even got to the point where I turned off my notifications on my phone for that. Mm-hmm. I don't even, I yeah. don't even look through my stuff anymore. Mm-hmm. Like, it's just like, it's too much. Like I try to only even like or respond to positive stuff because yeah. it's like, that'll yeah. override all them haters. Like, yeah. you know yeah. what I mean? They just piss them off more. See, that's, I have a problem with doing that. I'll respond to every negative bitch. Yeah. <laughs> You and what about it? Link up. No, that's why I really need to stop doing. Oh no, dead ass. I'd be like, Are you in LA? What are we talking what are we about? Talking about? She I had to delete her whole Twitter. I had to get off Twitter. She'll respond to every. Li- I'm like, Girl, I literally that mean. Oh my god, <laughs> like, Michelle Obama taking a broad phone. No, for real. Yeah, I, I, I because I just be like, Let me humble you real quick. Because let's go to your pictures and see yeah. how you hoes look and how y'all hoes living, bitch. Because we don't even live the same f-ing lifestyle. Yeah. yeah. And you over here hate. That's what I hate about the internet. People be f-ing losers to the core, bitch. Yes. Legit. Bottom of the barrel. Losers and have the audacity to go online and hate on somebody. And I've never, me and her have never been like that. We've never gone under pictures yeah, and I would never commented. Do that. I would never. Yeah. yeah, it's just a certain type of it's person corny. who does that. Like, who so does lame. that? Mm-hmm. That's so, like, if even I found out, like, a friend of mine or anything, like, in the past, I've had friends who were, like, too involved in social media, yeah. Yeah. too commenting on posts, too. I'm like, mm-hmm. I can't even f with you, bitch. You're lame. You don't know that, bitch. Yeah, yeah, no, <laughs> you over here comment on Kim Kardashian's picture, look at a hate comment. <laughs> you have never met that. <laughs> no, literally. Like, she'll never see that comment. She'll never. No! <laughs> and you know what's crazy? You know what's funny? They actually really just might. And that's the thing that really be driving mm, people what, over Like, one in think, a million. Yeah. Exactly. You think people don't be noticing or clocking it, but yeah. it's like, nah, bitch, I clocked it. I'm going to let it be known. But I like what you said about just only responding to positivity. Yeah. Because that's what we've been trying to do, too. Like, yeah. we'll have negative comments underneath our podcast posts, our, just our mm. YouTube and this mm. and that. And it's just like, it really is... You get fixated on the negative and be like, no, this isn't what I meant or this isn't what I yeah. said. And then after a while, you just got to be like, they're going to have their own narrative yeah. and I'm going to just build mine as well. So mm-hmm. do you feel like you put it in your music now? Yes, for sure. And I definitely uh-huh. spin it like where I just like take all them hate and take all the shit. I remember everything yeah. y'all are saying and shit. Like, mm-hmm. So I'll take it and just use it and then that just pisses them off even yeah. more. Like, I like how you're putting in your music like, like, because it's kind of, I feel like uh, I relate to you because I like to, <laughs> like, how you like, what did you say? What You said some shit that people be saying to you. Um, you said the Stewie thing. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. And I was like, yes, take that, take yeah, that exactly. back. Mm-hmm. Take that back. Because take when, that power when back. When you take the power from somebody and it's like, haha, yeah, okay, you say this about me, whatever, because they do that with me yeah. all the time and I feed into it all the time. I'm like, yeah, like, whatever. That's just hilarious to me. Yeah. It's yeah. just a funny little thing. What was thing. the line? 
Um, oh, what if was I'm it? Stewie, hoe you stupid. Yeah, yeah, or yeah. I get Stewie for that money. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that like, was funny. Because I'm just like, yeah, like, what the fuck? Look what they're saying. That's like when, uh, <laughs> I know this is an old movie, but remember 8 Mile? Yes. Uh, when, he went, when Eminem went on the stage, he was oh, like, yeah. yeah, I'm a white boy. I'm a train Lose park. Lose you know? <laughs> <laughs> He's like, and so the, the opponent was just like, well, you said everything. I ain't got nothing yeah, to say. Exactly. Right. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. That's taking your power back. Honestly, you could do that in every situation in life, honestly. So for you be sure. having a little notepad and being like, Oh, do you? <laughs> are you writing any of your music or? Are yeah, you no, I, yeah, I am. And I'm just, uh, and obviously he helps me. We like, he'll definitely help me more constructively because yeah. I don't know how to maybe oh, count like myself. Criticism. Yeah, like, I don't know how to count myself in maybe like, or per yeah, se. Like, or, like, like, count yeah, like I know, yeah, like I'll know what I want to say and mm. like, tell me how to say it. Like, say like, it like this. Yeah. And yeah. He, yeah. he is. All right. He, nice. is very, I know. <laughs> he is a very harsh critic. I know, right? Really. Yeah. But, but, but also, I mean, he's helping you out. Yeah. Oh, for sure. Yeah. That's why when people are like, he's so mean. I'm like, well, somebody got to be because, yeah. you know, I don't want someone to be in here like, yeah, that was awesome. It was trash. Yeah. But, no, you don't need like, no He yes knows how to write a hit. Yeah. So, so yeah. I'm cool with it. Look. I be mad. Yeah. <laughs> and now we have the studio at the house now. So that shit is yeah, that shit is cool. Let's write a diss track, Jaden. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> we said that on the He said that we gotta write a diss track at this point. We got some yeah, I'm definitely piss down. Off. Look, we about to piss some hoes off real quick. Let's write a fucking verse, bitch. No, I'm but um, obviously, I mean, I don't know how what your pocket's looking like, but he is the breadwinner in y'all dynamic, right? Right. So I, you know what I was confused about when I was see on the internet? That he be controlling everybody's like in his circle, like the milk music, all this and that. M money so does everything mm. that you make go to him first is that messy to ask no and i i mean it's like because any situation i'm there yeah. so it's like if you handling business i'm i'm not tripping because i'm gonna see it when we yeah. leave when we go buy something i mm -hmm. mean or if i you know what i'm saying i'm not but really is it going, like when you get let's say that you get a deal on the table for you specifically oh yeah that's going yeah it's going to me okay it's going to yeah, you okay yeah. Like okay. yeah, for, yeah, for instance, like the deal and all that. That's like that's under me. Okay. Making, you did so yeah, to. you have ways to make your own money because I can't like as a like as a woman, you think of mm -hmm. like, well, what, if I lose him, what I'm losing it all at this point. Yeah. So it's like you have ways to make your Cheers. own money, which is good. I Cheers. need more low key. Oh, oh yeah, okay. sorry. I didn't I didn't suck my cup dry. Look, I'm crying. <laughs> Look try yeah. to be over here. Just, uh, yeah, it's fine. No. <laughs> I have a question. It's kind of messy, but I don't really care. <laughs> so um, obviously. You be on Hollywood Unlocked doing interviews with your man, your man, your man, and then Krishan goes on Hollywood Unlocked and does interviews, and with it's all with Jason Lee. You, it's different because this has to do with your relationship. So it's like he'd be playing buddy buddy with her, and then he'd be around you and be playing buddy buddy with you. Yeah. So how should I put it? Uh, put it the it's real like way. it's because like the 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 real is is like that's not it's not like he's like really my friend. Mm -hmm. So I have to and like how we ha like you have to take everything in the internet or like the entertainment world with a grain of salt because yeah, it's totally. like he is doing his job. Mm -hmm. And I mean, he did know that person before he he did he met that person before he met me so mm -hmm. i mean i can't really i love how you um treat her name like she's that voldemort. person like voldemort yeah that, <laughs> that, thing. <laughs> that thing right there uh, <laughs> no but yeah i just i mean i can't you know and it's not like me and him are texting or you know buddy yeah, buddy like, like you know like I, it's not like i can't take it like why are you you mm -hmm. know being cool with it i mean mm -hmm. shit. i agree it's and, 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 and not and yeah. it, the, and never the world didn't see everything he said you know, and I'm sure that I didn't see everything he said during that time and vice yeah. versa. So, yeah. I mean, I can't really tell. I don't take it to heart that much. Obviously, I don't like being posted in a negative way or yeah. like it's like they put people against each other. It's and shit. Annoying. It's, yeah, it's annoying. It's but annoying. I mean, I don't take it personally from him or nothing. I mean, there ain't nothing I could do about his yeah. job. And yeah, uh, it's not like that's like like, you know, his job is to be messy. So it's like, whatever. yeah. And his job is to interview people and ask mm -hmm. the messy questions. Yeah. Like, so it's I mean, I like we're doing like I'm about to yeah. ask. So how did you feel when, uh, <laughs> <laughs> how did you feel when Krishan said on that interview that that ring was supposed to be for her? It's just bitter. And I and it's just like the narrative that gets painted because it's like the fan base will run with that, mm -hmm. you know, and vice versa. But it's just crazy because like days leading up to it, I had no, obviously I had no idea. We were supposed to go to this Rams game mm -hmm. and that the Rams game was already planned. Mm -hmm. And I'm in the shower and he's, um, he comes upstairs like, uh, trying like, he has like this like ring thingy on, but mm -hmm. I'm thinking I, we had already talked about getting MILF. Mm 
So mm-hmm. I'm thinking okay. he's like sizing me up because he tried. He did a couple of my fingers. Oh, yeah. I'm in the shower, oh, so I'm not really thinking. I'm trying to get ready for whatever we was mm-hmm. going to do. Yeah. So I'm just kind of like, whatever, not really think about it. He did a couple of my fingers. He's like, we'll just do it the rest later. So I'm like, okay, yeah, whatever. Didn't think nothing of it. Oh, that's very slick. Yeah, very I slick because like I didn't because yeah. we had already talked about doing like something else. Yeah, so I'm yeah. just kind of like, oh, okay, like whatever. Didn't think about it again, and then he never asked me about it again. So I'm like, whatever. A couple of days go by, and that's. You know, and I'm like, oh, you slick bastard. Yeah. Like, you got me. Like, how did I not? I had no inkling at all. Like, yeah. where did you hide that shit? Yeah, like, like, yeah, 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 yeah I'm, that's yeah. what I'm mad about. Like, what the fuck? I didn't catch it. Like, yeah. damn. Like, so you was going to get the M-I-L-F? Like, all yeah. stuff. That's all. Because I could see what he was doing. Wait, yeah. so, so it was premeditated. He thought about it. So yeah. it wasn't for her. No, and I think it's all. so lame. And it's just lame. Like, mm-hmm. I think that, Grab like. A mic, baby. <laughs> Grab a <laughs> mic. <laughs> so it was two weeks prior. So, it, okay, yeah. Yeah, and I, it's just lame. And I, like, it's yeah. cool. You can paint the narrative you want Honestly, to. Honestly, that does suck to have somebody, like, try to take away a moment from you. Yeah, a lot of and all, all the time. I mean, yeah. All I think that also this is, like, it's kind of on topic, but a little bit off topic. And I don't even know if you want to talk about it. But I do remember seeing you, like, on the internet. And I, I remember you being pregnant with your daughter. And I remember Blueface not really being as present because you had left him at that point yeah and he was running around gallivanting with Krishan and doing all the things that they do gallivanting is crazy it is the worst (laughs) (laughs) no but so he was gallivanting around and well I'm sure you felt shitty about that but (laughs) then she was pregnant with her son and you guys got back together yeah and did part of you feel like be transparent Cause this is like some this is a woman's podcast, bitch. We for the girls. <laughs> Did part of you? Okay, one more interruption. <laughs> <laughs> Did part of you feel like? Well, now it's your time to suffer. I had to suffer during my pregnancy. My nigga was running around with you, and now he back with me. And oh, I, get it. I, I was wondering where that question was coming was going to end at. But um, I think that. I think the tables turned. I think that's the ironic situation for me because I, I had turned. to just, I didn't, I didn't go out my way to be spiteful, mm-hmm. which I feel like that was what was done to me, but yeah. I didn't go out my way to do it. So I feel like that kind of just, the universe kind of just did it itself. Like mm-hmm. karma played itself out mm-hmm. and I didn't have to do no, no devil's work to do it. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, shit. Yeah. S- sucks to suck, I guess. So I mean. you did feel a little bit like, well, I, I mean, yeah, like, look at how you I have mean, you go through it. I mean, yeah, yeah. shit, it's like, don't it? Like, yeah. Do you ever feel like, since you've never dated another band, that you are in some sense settling because you have not given yourself the opportunity to date other men and just see wh- how you could be treated in a relationship with a man? Because you don't know. There's a you lot don't of know. penises out there. <laughs> 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 there. <laughs> no, I mean, I don't, I, I don't know. I just, I don't even know what led me to do all that I don't, we've been together for a long time that was my first so I don't mm, really mm-hmm. it's not like I will, he was like my 10th and then I was like oh I know what's out there for right. real like I'm yeah. gonna go get that I mean and I just am kind of letting the cards fall as they may like I, I hadn't and it's not like I've not been out and like stopping shit from happening like if I yeah. would if I would have meant Chris Charping who knows like if yeah. that would have been a thing I don't know so but I just never no, I've just been out in public, and mm-hmm. it's like I've never met nobody that was worth even, like... But even mm-hmm. while you guys weren't dating or dealing with each other, you never was like, what's up over here? Like, I mean, probably, like, I've be- definitely, like, maybe liked some pictures or something, like... But Ooh, I ain't never, like... To get f- oh, <laughs> The picture, bitch. You need to see what other I've never, I, I've there. never liked her. Yeah. No, sizes. <laughs> my mom's only been with one man, too, so, I'm like, only my dad, so I can... I'm like... I, when I was growing up, I wanted that same thing. So it's like I can understand that logic, but it's just like, who? I'm so happy I wasn't with the first person that I was ever with. Same. Like, <laughs> but everybody is different. And I but not understand. like he's lame mm-hmm. or anything. He's not no, like yeah. ugly. He's not unsuccessful. Yeah. Yeah. So. I mean, if I think that, I mean, when we were not together, I think that if someone would have maybe swept me off my feet, mm-hmm. that it could have been a possibility just because he was over there doing that and yeah. I was over here taking care of kids. And the yeah, one night a week right. I'm going out, if somebody, yeah. you know, if somebody would have came down my path. And it ain't and, much out here, man. Yeah. yeah. So it's like, mm-hmm. I don't think I'm missing out on anything. I mean, I think a lot of men cheat. I think yeah. a lot of men, I don't know if there's, there's a, only a handful that probably don't. Like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? They well, were, 
Have you ever met a faithful man that was your type? I have met a faithful man who is my type. My man right now. My man, my, my man. man. Hey. And if he ever cheats, bitch, I'm out the door first time. It's nothing mm -hmm. to it. Like, really, it's nothing to it. I feel like when you're a bad bitch, it's about what you're going to stand for and what you're going to allow mm -hmm. happen. And I'm not saying that you're not a bad bitch. I understand you've been with this man for many years. I can mm -hmm. understand that. I really, really can. But for me personally, I haven't just been with one man. I could take a new dick. So it's fine. I'll go get me a new man. I'll take another. I don't care. I'm not, I don't, I'm not putting up with anything like that. I just, no. Mm -mm. So. <laughs> be throwing me off. <laughs> so, but, oh, I'm a Taurus girl. So while you were during those breaks and you explore have you always been like that like have you ever had like a threesome with him is that like y'all thing yeah no it's not our thing it's just that's happened before it's though. happened before yeah. really yeah it's were you guys like kind of not in love in the moment because i feel like if i was madly in love in the moment i couldn't do it but if i was like I'm you know kind of getting tired of my man <laughs> Knocking a bitch out. I mean, I feel like it's kind of different because I do like girls. Yeah, so exactly. it's like it's same, a little, it's same. a little different. Yeah. I think we and we were also like I don't even know if I was twenty one yet. So it's like sure, I was still big. like yeah figuring mm -hmm. it out. Yeah, and I mean it was like shit. He gonna be doing it anyway. Like let me get yeah. this up in there. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. I used yeah. to. I think I used to think more like that. I used to be like, okay, well they going to mess with other girls anyways. But when I've really been in love, I'm like, I cannot see you fucking another girl. I can't share anything. I would cry right there on the I table. cannot. I well, I think maybe if I knew that he wasn't doing that at all, mm -hmm. like if that yeah. was just like so foreign to our, mm -hmm. like our relationship, relationship, then I'd probably be like, absolutely the fuck not. But since he was already doing that and I'm like, well, shoot. Also, y'all have been too. together for hella years. It's yeah. like, at that point, I know what it feels like to get to like some long ass point with some man and you're just like, mm -hmm. well, whatever, <laughs> bitch. We still locked in. We're not going nowhere, you know. So, um, I feel like, you know, obviously we focus on so much with your relationship. I feel like everybody does, but mm -hmm. like, what is there? Like, there's more to you, obviously, as a person. I know you were in a relationship young, so like, obviously a relationship is a big part of your life, but like, what about you? Like, where are you from? What's like, your parents' dynamic? Do you do pottery? Like, do you like <laughs> pottery? Do you have any <laughs> hobbies that are weird? Do you like gardening? Oh, yeah. yeah. What is it? Um, uh, so I was born and raised out here. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. my mom and dad... We're off and on. He was in, he's been in and out of jail my whole life. What so. race are your parents, by the way? My mom is black, white, and Asian. My dad's Mexican. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. so you're, little, oh, so you're a mutt. We're a mutt. Yeah, a little bit of sun. I, and I say that. Nuts. My mom gets so mad at me when I say that. I'm like, but I am. People like, say that to me to be mean. Like, you fucking mutt. And I'm like, all right. I guess it's like the mixed person N-word. So, I mean, whatever. <laughs> so, yeah. So, um, he's been in and out my life. I haven't. He's. I don't even talk to him or that side of the family at all. Mm -hmm. So, I don't have any of that Mexican side that everyone You don't speak like, Spanish, girl? No. Oh, you got to get on Duolingo like me. Yeah, Hola, I, estas? yeah I need to get really up to speed. <laughs> no, honestly, you should do Duolingo because I've been on it for like six months and I, I'm i getting there. I'm really? getting Is it like an app or something? Yeah, yeah no, oh. it's an app. I'll okay. send it to you. But She'd it, be like, it, El Baño. <laughs> I'd be like, ¿Dónde está el baño? Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm, both my parents are licensed. They're both black. I'm from Louisiana. They're both Creole. Hey. <laughs> yeah. Um, so you don't have a really, you didn't have a, dynamic with your dad per se not really um do you feel like people will say that's daddy issues mm -hmm. i mean maybe slightly maybe i do uh, maybe oh. that's kind of like maybe why i hold on to like mm -hmm. the family thing i think i said this i touched on that in one of the interviews i mm -hmm. just did but i he had asked me the same thing and i was just like i did never thought about it yeah until i was asked it. like maybe that's why i do hold on to that so yeah. hard because like sense. yeah because i just didn't have that so i mean that's cool but yeah um I so relate if I to could that. Do better, yeah, yeah, if I could do better than what was given to me, I shit, I'm gonna try. Yeah. You know, um, but I didn't have that Mexican side that everyone tries to, like force mm. on me. Like I'm just mm. looking like. Oh yeah, because for sure, like I think even I told my mom like who I had coming on. My mom be in all the business. She be on the internet and everything. I, you would never even too. know. <laughs> <laughs> I said, <laughs> you know, my sister was really excited. I told her I was like, really? girl, you ain't gonna believe. Yeah, because she's mm. a, she's a BGC fanatic. Mm. She uh. follows everything. She <laughs> follows. I think she follows probably both y'all on Instagram. Really? She yes, <laughs> and she be sending me y'all shit like they cute. And I'm like, yeah, they cute, girl. Like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. and then she told me. And I told her, and she was like, shut the. F up. And I was like, yes, girl. Shout out yeah. to uh, Mike, too, for setting this all up. Yeah, when I, yeah. he's I, hella cool he's, people. Yeah, I yeah. didn't even know that she was going to set it up. I didn't I, know either. He just yeah. texted me like, you cool? I, I was like, know. yeah, text me. Because I'm like, I, I, I told him, I was like, look. People I said, have I said, asked. I said it like this. I was like, I want her. 
<laughs> I need I want a need on the show. <laughs> Get set it up. But it's, people asked us. They to have. have asked, they've been asking. They bring you. They say if you look at our um, check out all of our videos, y'all. But if you look at all of our videos, they'll like say your name and be like bring Jaden on the show, yeah. bring Jaden on the show all the time. It's like one with we like delivered. over three hundred comments. Yeah. So yeah, we love that. yeah, you were in high demand. Yes, definitely. First of all, I knew that you were cool once you watched the episode and you were like, I appreciate you guys for talking about this on the episode, but in a different light. Yeah. Because we're going to always keep it real. Yeah, we're going to always keep it honey. And I'm a real bitch, for real. I'm from the Bay. So I see things from a lot of different perspectives. I've lived a bunch of different lives. So I'm not one to judge anybody, for real. Yeah, it was a... I, I fucked with it because everyone get, like, either they're... Whenever they talk about the situation, it's always very bias like mm -hmm. or they'll choose a side and it's just yeah. like for what like yeah. if, especially if you've never met exactly one of us or all of us or whatever yeah. the case is i don't know but I, that's what i hate about it yeah. so it's like you, you know give a bitch a chance like you didn't even give me let me try yeah. like I'm and liking you, it so far. Yeah, no. You, <laughs> you actually seem very sweet yeah. and like mm -hmm. you don't seem dumb. Like yeah, you got a good vocabulary on yeah, you. Yeah, try. <laughs> so, I mean, that's one thing we look at too. When we so are you people. close with your mom? Do you, are oh, you yeah. have siblings? Yeah, okay. Um, I'm really close with my mom. She lives actually like around the corner from me and mm -hmm. my sister too. Um, I have a younger sister, but that oh, really? is just us two oh, that yes. we know of. Look, you never, really? <laughs> you never know. Pop a puzzle, Girl, you better do an ancestry test and see what comes no, up. No, I you think he's know. been in jail too much anyway. But um, mm -hmm. yeah, it's just me and her and it's always been that way. I think that's kind of why... I don't understand everything, but like the half yeah, thing. yeah, or yeah. just any anything like yeah. not even living in this, like it, just any of it. Like I just yeah. so it's always been me and her like this. We're three years apart. Yeah. Oh, that's funny. so yeah. So do they support your whole like everything that you, like did they know that this was coming for you? Do they know that? Did they see this in your future? No, I don't even think it. I saw it in my future because yeah. like when I was pregnant and just like really on this like dark cloud mm -hmm. I would say like where I just didn't even see the light at the end of the tunnel where I was just sitting here like ain't no fucking way mm -hmm. y'all gonna play with me like for yeah. this long like shit like but I don't think they saw that for me and then when I was just like just trust me like because mm -hmm. once I had the vision I was like oh I'm on it like mm -hmm. it was light at the end of the tunnel it's non-stop like I'm going I'm going I ain't just all gas no mm -hmm. breaks yeah so then when I told them that they were like man what I'm like let me go to the studio watch the kids like let yeah. me go here let me go here just trust me just trust yeah. me just trust me and then at first it was like man Mm -hmm. Like, what are we doing? Like, 5 a.m. is mm -hmm. crazy. Like, yeah. I'm like, but you don't understand. I finished the song. Yeah. So yeah. I ain't got to go until uh -huh. like, next right. week. Like, yeah. right. So then um, once they started seeing that people was really fucking with me, like, my mom would be like, I can't believe this. Yeah. Like, you know, and my grand, once my grandma started to send me like, shit, oh, I got respect now. Yeah. 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 And then I went to her house one time and she was like, she said something about she was like, I love you. I said, oh, hell no. I fell out. I was like, what the fuck? Ain't no way my granny talking about some stupid. I'm crying. Oh, my God. Whose idea was it to actually for you to start rapping? Was it your idea or was it Blueface's idea at first? Um, it was actually my. Uh, we was he came over to my house one time. We was just drinking on some regular shit, mm -hmm. and uh, we was watching music videos. And I don't know what like or I, he was, he was, um, he was. We was listening to music videos or he was playing beats or something like. Mm -hmm. at, this was like when I was at my apartment, yeah. so it was like. So you was, was like. Yeah, and then hey. <laughs> on the wall and shit <laughs> <laughs> with some pencils. She's like, oh, you got a voice on you, oh, bitch. Like, oh, I like that sound. <laughs> yeah, and then so I was just like, fuck it, uh, put me in there. Yeah. You know, just drunk, like thinking you could do anything yeah. type shit. So I'm like, yeah, put me in there. He's mm -hmm. like, for real? I'm like, yeah, fuck it. Yeah. yeah. And then um, he ended up, yeah, so he was like, all right, we're going to see what's up. Mm -hmm. You know, a couple weeks go by, and then he ended up getting put on house arrest. Or arrested, or he got arrested. In, he got arrest. he got arrested in Vegas right. or some shit. And then Did that I had make to, you happy at all? No, because oh, I was oh. just like. It was it was just a crazy because you got arrested in another state. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. then I did the dash to go get him because mm -hmm. I was like, you just out there when nobody is crazy. Yeah, yeah. Like, and especially in Vegas, like mm -hmm. where their police little department is, when they told me where he was, I was like, oh, hell no. I'm about to be sitting outside because ain't no way you just be sitting with, at the bus stop mm -hmm. with everybody. Like, yeah. oh, fuck no. So I did the dash there. And then he was like, well, let's just go back. And I was like, that's cool because we don't need to stay here at all. Yeah. And then as we was driving back, he was like, let's just go to the studio. And I was like, it. I got a babysitter, so yeah. let's go. And you know, we was drinking and shit. We got there, and I was just like, oh, okay, like I got nervous because it's yeah. just me and him and the, and the engineer. So I'm sitting there like, oh fuck, <laughs> yeah, oh fuck. So like now it's my time to shine. Right. <laughs> I'm like, do good. <laughs> right. So then, and then I went in there, and he was just like, you know, I was just trying to 
fucking around. So I was like, fuck it, I'm gonna just talk. Mm. Like, I mean, I'm not gonna do nothing more extra than I like. Yeah. I'm not gonna go in there and yeah. scream and shit, yeah. like you know, or do or try to Cut sing. My life in two yeah. pieces. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, like I was trying not to do any of that. So yeah. then I went in there and ended up really fucking with it. So yeah. I was like, okay, cool. Like, mm. you, you know, know what's crazy though? When it comes to music, I feel like if you have a nice speaking voice, yeah. you will be good at music. Yeah, legit. Like you will. I don't know if you can sing, but if you can't <gasps> sing, okay. you, and if you have a nice voice when you talk, bitch, you could rap. Yeah, because I'm not going to lie. It's like, amps, hips, dips. Huh, and, 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 and. <laughs> yeah, <it goes. laughs> yeah, look, I'm telling you, I'm good. we're going to get in the studio. So what's next for you? Like, what's next? What's the next step for Jaden Alexis? Like, to, aside from being a mom and, influ- like, you know, aside from being a mom, being a blue faces, fiance, be- <laughs> wait, wait, before all that. When is the wedding? Are you planning that? Um, I was kind of looking at dates because I'm like, uh, a, like, are you I'm trying like, to? Well, no, I'm, I'm like, where I like want to date that like me, so like eleven, eleven, or like a, it has to like I want the date to mean something. Mm-hmm, like yeah. I don't know, I'm one of those. But then I was just looking at all the future dates. I'm like, man, like these dates suck because yeah, yeah. like the dates I would want be on a Tuesday or mm-hmm. you know some bullshit. Yeah, yeah, like I need the whole. Can mm-hmm. we come to the wedding? Absolutely. You should just, you should ah! yeah. do a podcast ah! at the wedding. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Interview with me by the way. I have a black background. It's not kind of red carpet. It's gonna be a blue carpet in that motherfucker. Oh, right. My bad. My bad. Here we go. We go. Have people walking down interviewing that's and shit. Funny. So you don't really know yet. No, that's still I to mean, be determined. The wedding is still to be determined. Yeah, I mean, if I think I, th- we were kind of talking about it. I think like the moment is gonna like present itself. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't. I'm not. It's not like I don't think it's gonna happen in three years or nothing. I think yeah, it's gonna yeah. be kind of fairly soon. But I don't have a certain date because mm-hmm. I think it's just gonna come to be and be like it's time okay. to start. Mm-hmm. Like you know, this yeah. is it. Like start to prepare because me and him are kind of like I like to plan, but he's a last minute person. Like oh, as, that's Aquarius as fuck. That's her as fuck. It's that's so oh, it drives Aquarius? me. Yes, he oh. drives me nuts. Like yeah. I can't even believe that mm-hmm. you just will wake me up and be like, all right, so uh, we got it. I hate we got an interview that. today at uh, yeah, yeah. at the four o'clock. Like <laughs> hair just like yeah. looking yeah. all up. Like what? <laughs> I just read my wig off. Like, look, oh hell no! Like, I'm looking like, oh hell, what the yeah, fuck? No. Do you think he's gonna judge this interview? He's gonna look at me like, what you bitches was talking about? Um, no. I he, thought that I was he, like, oh my he'll, god. He'll watch it. He'll actually definitely watch uh, it with me. Okay. I, but when I told him, uh, what was it like this past weekend or whatever when we was planning, I was like, mm-hmm. um, I'm gonna go on there because I already in my head I was like, I don't give a fuck what he say. I'm going yeah. regardless. Yeah. Right. <laughs> and, it, and it was I already kind of knew it was like girl oriented anyway, yeah. so mm-hmm. I didn't really give a fuck what he yeah. thought anyway. Um, but he was like, yeah, do it, absolutely. And I was like, oh, okay, cool then. I like, love that. Yeah. Love yeah, because we were going to say, I was I was like, uh, I don't know how to tell her this, but I wanted to just be like, it's a girl thing. So, like, please don't bring it <laughs> up. I know, I definitely, I definitely knew the vibes. I definitely knew the vibes. like, looking at, staring you down in your eyes, your soul, and be like, bitch, you better answer correctly. Right now, we're like, we don't want to be like looking over here <laughs> like, like, um, so, so how is he ain't shit today? <laughs> <laughs> no, for sure. I, um, he, I already kind of picked up the vibes, and I, this, yeah. it wasn't. Yeah, I figured yeah, that. Oh, my God. So, like I was saying, so what is next for Jaden Alexis? Like, what do you next, see in the future? More music, mm-hmm. um, for sure. Um, I definitely think that um, Columbia's working on stuff for like a remix. Oh, you just signed a deal. Yeah, for okay, congratulations. Thank you. Yeah. I forgot Thank you. I did see that. I don't know why mm-hmm. I didn't think about that. Yeah, um, I think that we're they're gonna try to definitely push like a remix with somebody. Um, I know that they have a couple people that they're mm. probably thinking of. I mean, I'm kind of, I'm, I'm, da- I'm all for the girls, so I'm down to work yeah. with whoever, yeah. would, you know, just is yeah. down to make it hot, like shit, mm-hmm. you know, whatever, you know, all gas for the girls. Um, but definitely more music. Barbie is still even, mm. like, you know, it's still on the song. rise. It's yeah. still like on the rise. Snip like a Barbie. Barbie, hips, lips, hey. ass in a cardi. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah that but shit um, that shit is definitely going up even more still, and then um, more music. I'm not really sure. I mean, I'm not an actor or anything. Like, I just, I feel like I would just fuck it up. But the possibilities <laughs> would, are kind of endless. Yeah, I mean, right if so, if, yeah. I mean, if the bag was right, I might get it together. I might yeah, take a class or two. You know what I love you want to do just for like a little ghetto fun? I want to be in a Tubi movie. I know, right? That'd be so Like, just funny. for yeah, a little is. chuckle, <laughs> just to see how good I could act. I feel like I would laugh. She'd be like, oh. <laughs> I feel like I couldn't take it serious. Like I would be laughing. Oh, people try to sure. fake cry. Yeah. Yeah. I'll be looking yeah. like, like <laughs> please. I don't think I could. I don't. It, I don't know. I just It'd have be, to. See. It would be fun though, just to do. Just yeah, I definitely her. would uh, like to with some endorsement deals as long mm-hmm. as clothing but everyone's been pushing that on me, and I'm like, yeah. I'm all for it. You know, nah, get your bag, bitch. You yeah, yeah bag. I'm all for it. Um, yeah. 
but that's I'm I'm really just all about my music, all about yeah. being a mom right now. It's hard. It's been hard to juggle both. I ain't mm. gonna cap to you. Yeah. All props to all the people that have been in the music doing mm. having kids yeah. and multiple kids at that. Like yeah. shit, you know, you it's hard. Two kids. Yeah. It's hard, and especially when they like young ages, mm. like man. But props to the girls. I think you're doing an amazing yeah. job, and don't listen to what people are saying. They're fucking mean. They're dumb. They be worried about other people's kids. They don't even know where the that kids is at for the night exactly. so right. who cares what these people say about you i think you're a lovely person meeting you. you and honestly fuck y'all quit being mean <laughs> to this girl she's fucking sweet because she snipped like a barbie period <laughs> like period. what else what else is there so thank you for coming on our show we really thank do you. we really do love to have you here and we enjoyed your company and we're about to go out after this yeah we're about to go yeah. out cheers, cheers. <laughs> successful look come away come on here real quick because we need this who been talking to you. This who been right talking now. the whole time, y'all. Introduce yourself. Sadie, the one y'all hate so much. What? Sadie, the one y'all hate. I'm gonna cut her off. Infamous. Say infamous. Yeah. Infamous say, baby. Hey. Say, Wait, this Jay. What? This could be our thumbnail. Yeah. Stay tuned because she got some sunglasses coming out. I'll say oh, you have a sunglasses? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You yeah, was, I want to. Girl, then why do you say that too? It's not. It's nothing. It's. it's but that's. It's, I was honestly I been looking at your sunglasses the whole time. I definitely want to. No, I did. I thought they were cute. I thought they were cute. Is this your brand or no? Huh? This is gonna no. Be no. I mean, I've I've been experimenting with all kinds of sunglasses though, mm. and but I always I always yeah. keep a sunglass on me. That's it. I yeah. noticed that too. And I feel like the possibility that'll be are cute for you now oh, for sure. is a time. It's a trajectory where you're going up, and it's just like I wouldn't stop. I would not stop at all. Yeah. Your little baby's gonna be good. They're gonna yeah. be around, and you doing it for yeah. them. Yeah. So cheers yeah. to that. All right, bye, y'all. Love you. Thank bye. you for tuning in.